What is going on today, YouTube? Happy Thanksgiving to you all. It's Thanksgiving when I'm recording this. It's probably not going to be up to tell the Friday after Thanksgiving, Black Friday. Um, hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Um, like I said before, on this channel, we're going to be doing more tree reviews. I'm still doing the Grizzly Dark Select. I'm going to pack this one right here. It's a nice, this is really a filler, but, mm-hmm, so today's video I'm going to explain to people how to dip for the first time, so first of all, get yourself a can of chew. Um, there's a lot of people out there that don't know how, even how to do this motion. Which is fine. The way I learned how to do it was stick your two fingers like this and leave this finger to hang there and just keep doing this. And then you practice with your can of chew. And then eventually, you can do it like that. You can also do side packing. Very easily. Side packing is a little bit more discreet. You know, not a lot of people are going to hear the that than anything. Um, so, with chewing... I always try to keep a drink right by me. And it's up the spit in. Until I get my mud jug, which hopefully will be here actually the day I post this video. Um, let's see. What else could I give advice to? Oh, so when you pack your can, well, first of all, when you get your can, take your finger, take your thumb. And run along that seam right here. Where this barcode is. It's the most difficult because it's double layered right here. So you really got to get it at an angle and push through it. And during with a new can, yeah, you can pack it, but with Grizzly, it's generally it's generally full up to the brim. So you just reach in there, grab yourself a pinch. Call it good. So the way how I when I feel the the craving of a chew, I when I got my can, of course, three packs. That's all you need. Fuck, can't open. Put your tin underneath it. Fuck, it's hard to show you. But take your two fingers. And you pinch. And you get a good, nice little pinch like that. But I already have one in, so I'm going to leave it at there. Um, one of the big problems you're going to have when you start chewing is that the tobacco is actually going to be moving around a lot. So that's where you take your tongue and push down on the tobacco and it flattens it out so it gets below your your uh, bef below your, the root of your teeth where you can see the bottom of your teeth and then there you go but if you've been chewing for a little once you can start chewing for a little bit more once you start dipping I should say more often then you're you create a pocket right here I always chew on my right side sometimes on my left um, and but normally it's on my right, and then there you go. It, it just builds itself a pocket, so it just sits in there fine. You could go around, excuse me, going around doing your grocery shopping and all that shit. Um, but don't get discouraged after you've been chewing for a while. You know, if you start chewing and 
It is it is better. It, I don't give a fuck what that label says. This is a safer alternative to smoking. I used to go around on this channel and say smoking's good. I, I you know I loved it. I still do. I still have my tobacco pipe. I have my old Gandalf. But I'd rather chew my Grizzly Dark Select or my Wintergreen. And then there you go. Um, if Don't get discouraged too quickly. I started chewing in, oh fuck, back in middle school. I'll do a whole other video on this topic probably right after this one and give you guys a little backstory on how when I started chewing. Um, but for beginner wise, um, if you, you you'll get something called gator lip. Gator lip is just from all the salt that they put in tobacco to keep it fresh. Um, and you know it'll dry up your gums a little bit and all that. Just swish it with some salt water for a couple of days and it'll be gone within about a week. It ain't cancer. I'll tell you that one right now. It's not cancer. I actually just tag gear your lip and I've been chewing on this side for a little bit. And it went away after I switched with salt water. Um. Oh. Stay. But yeah. Um. But for chewing, you know, it, it, is, it is better for you. Um. If you don't want to go straight to, if you feel like the long cut is more difficult for you, even though I, I personally, I hate pouches. Um, you can buy Grizzly makes, um, fuck. I know they make wintergreen pouches for Grizzly. Um, there's a few other brands out there that make pouches like Longhorn, um, So, and like Camel Snus, that is available at any gas station you go to. Which come in a whole variety of flavors. You got Frost. Uh, you got, they actually have two kinds of Frost. They have the uh, small portion. And then they have the large Frost. Then they have Mellow, Robust, Wintergreen. Uh, Mellow is my favorite. It's a small little portion. Maybe about that big, smaller than a, an actual pouch of tobacco. But it has that great smoothing taste, and when my lip gets all irritated, my gums get irritated, I buy a ten of those, chew those for uh, two, three days, and then there you go. It's Everything's back to normal. And another thing is spitting with beginning chewers. Um, it, it, even though it sounds fucking completely weird, spitting is important. Instead of Say it just pooh like that. You just nice, quick to the point, and then you continue on what you're doing. Um, but 